Hey there, with Dawn Trail well underway, I wanted to kind of give my thoughts on the expansion now that people are kind of starting to get to the end of it, starting to actually play the game, and maybe for those who haven't actually played it and are considering playing it or have played previous expansions but aren't really sure whether Dawn Trail is for them. For the record, I'm going to say my thoughts on the expansion whilst pretty much avoiding as many spoilers as possible. I won't spoil things, I might mention a few zone names or a few characters, but I will not actually spoil the end of the expansion. I'll do another video later doing spoilers and properly reviewing it to more minutia, but for this video, just my general thoughts, so don't worry about that. So, Dawn Trail, off the cuff, what did I think of it? I've played Final Fantasy since 1.0 at this point now, and this for me really did stand up as the Realm Reborn 2 which the devs said they wanted to make. It was a fun expansion, one which did the, the adventuring side of things that we were promised in a few patches and a few expansions well, and made the whole experience feel more relaxed. I was relieved um, to see a number of different characters and to just kind of have a story where we went back to a little bit more of the Heaven's War, the Stormblood and the Realm Reborn style of storytelling. Now I know that isn't popular with some people, but we had this story is more based on the characters around us and the Warrior of Light is there to experience it as well, but it is not a Shadowbringers or Endwalker story that is all about us. That's very clear from the beginning. It is a story of world building and I like that. I found that fun. I felt that it really builds up uh, a lot of the world and it's a great foundation for where the game might go in the future, which is which is good. I really feel like that was an issue that Endwalker had. Skipping an expansion between Shadowbringers and Endwalker really just kind of wrote themselves into a corner in terms of just getting rid of just a lot of story build up and other parts of the world which need to be developed. Seeing New World get developed like this was good. I'm hoping they do similar things for Mericidia, the parts of Offar they haven't touched, maybe build up Ingashi more, Ilzabad and Garlemald really need it. Other sections of, honestly even Aldenard, Aldenard is underdeveloped. Some of the missing zones like West Shroud probably could be added back, that would be nice to see. But Tyrael itself, very good. The cities are done very nicely. I feel that there's a lot of vibrancy in the color palettes and the environments. It is just probably, I mean, honestly, just a, a beautiful expansion. I think there's no doubt about that. It, uh, it surpasses Endwalker and Shadowbringers by far in terms of looks. Really makes good use of the graphical updates. It's plain to see. And it makes me excited to see what future expansions, future patches and future content looks like with how graphically good Dawn Trail is. Now in terms of my personal rating of where I think Dawn Trail ultimately lands, for me it's really up there I think with Endwalker. It's difficult to say whether it's there with Shadowbringers. Shadowbringers obviously has the ability of turning around and just using so much of what's happened and having the big, big reveal at the end of the base content. Endwalker has a similar ability with that, but I really feel like the patch content of Endwalker let the expansion down. Base game, very good. Patch content, relatively weak, which I, I might discuss in another video why I feel that way. So I, I think Dawn Trail is maybe on par with Endwalker, perhaps a little bit below it at sections. Not, not the best expansion, obviously, of... Uh, of Final Fantasy, but it really was a, a palate cleanser for just the misery and depression which were a big part of Endwalker and the themes of overcoming that, and this is like coming to the end of a dark tunnel, we see the horizon, we see the sunrise, we see just hope, and we have a fun adventure because of that. Sure, of course, it's a Final Fantasy game, there are terrible bosses, there are bad things to happen, people to overcome. But, on the whole, it ends up being a very fun experience, isn't it? And, uh, I'm trying to avoid saying spoilers. 
I think overall it's a very good direction for the for the game to go. I know that a lot of people are going to be disappointed because it's not an Ishikawa story. I would try and remind people. <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, I'm trying to remind people that Ishikawa's story. She hasn't written for most of Final Fantasy. Yes, two of the most successful expansions were written by Ishikawa. She's still around, but I think for the health of both her and for the game in general, having other writers come in and not always do stories based around her content is for the best. Don't get me wrong, in another expansion, another two expansions, having a, a story entirely written by her again, it would be great. We'd have, the, we'd have content built up for her, and I really feel like that's when her best moments are but to force it now to force her to come in and kind of just write more build up I don't, I don't think that's her best style I think let someone else do the world building let someone else build the scenarios she's a really good character writer she's really good at doing the setup of knocking all the dominoes down and then just seeing where it goes let someone build dominoes up let her knock them down if I were to rate Dawn Trail uh, on a tangible list of 10, where would I put it? Bearing in mind, I would probably put Shadowbringers on, I'd say, 9.5. and Walker, it really depends on my mood. Base M Walker, I'd put about 9, including the patches, is maybe at 8. Dawn Trail, at the moment, I, I think it's around 8. Uh, I could argue for a 7.5. It's, it's up there, definitely one of the good expansions, definitely comparable with Heaven's Ward without a doubt. Better than Stormblood, better than Around Reborn. If for whatever reason you've got to hold out on not playing the game, you're worried on where it's going, this is a good expansion, you should play it. This is a, a light for where Final Fantasy XIV is going in the future and you definitely want to be a part of it. So far it's been fun, the game is fun, the community is doing great. You should come play Final Fantasy. Give Dawn Trail a go. See how your character looks in the new updated graphics. And just come along for the ride. Because I really think it's going to be a good one. If you're the type of person that's holding out because you feel... Man, I'm just really not into the theme. I'm there with you. I went into Dawn Trail not particularly excited, I'll be honest. Even though I'm a massive Final Fantasy XIV enjoyer. The new world just didn't really speak to me. I wasn't a huge fan, I felt, of the kind of Mexican uh, vibe. I wasn't interested in the South American vibe being added on 14. It felt a little out there for me. But having now played it, oh, it, is, it is beautiful. It is an amazing zone. The culture really fits in. They do a fantastic job of uh, fitting it into the game. But... It's not all that's there. There are other cultures, there are other parts of the story. Uh, one of the zones that's already been showed off in FanFest, so this isn't a spoiler, is Shaloni, which is just the Wild West kind of zone. Really loved that. Uh, just a nice aesthetic uh, palette cleanser in the expansion. If you've ever been someone who kind of enjoys a Western style uh, area, it's, it's there. You'll love it. You should try it. There's really, if you're someone who held out because of the feeling of just too much of the new world maybe being like Stormblood, that, that worry of covering South America and bits of North America, don't worry, it really never felt like that for me. It never felt like the Stormblood issue again of taking Alamigo and Offard and trying to jam them together. They do a fantastic job actually world building most of America and I feel like they've got room to expand on it later if they want to return to that or maybe cover other areas in the patch content. Character wise, not spoiling anything about what happens to characters and such, this is a refreshing expansion if you're someone who was bored of the base sounds to with, the signs of the Seventh Dawn. I love them, don't get me wrong, I love so many of the signs but Absence makes the heart grow fonder, and we have had them around for so long that getting a break from them, getting to see other characters like Kryl, Erinville, Wukamat, and other characters who are Turali natives is refreshing. Now, I will say, as many people have said, bear in mind, if you don't like Wukamat, 
at the start of this expansion, brace yourself because she is an important character and will not be going anywhere. She is just the central point of the expansion and you play more of a mentor figure to her. So if you don't like her, maybe try using Japanese voices, um, try other voice styles maybe to get past that. I would say the story is good despite her and one of my negatives for the expansion is that I don't think that her delivery was bad. I don't think that she was a bad character but they really overuse her so brace yourself for that certainly. Otherwise the characterization really good. There are some fantastic characters. For a start every Mamolja, every Mamolja that you see in this expansion they voice act great, their stories are awesome, they're just a joy to see in pretty much every scene. As an Arumi Born player, seeing the Mamolja go from these kind of joke characters we've seen for so long to this amazingly well voice acted and well just built up uh, nation of people, it's it's awesome. And they, they even make a, I don't think this is a spoiler at all, but they reference Arumi Born characters very well in the expansion. It's, it's awesome. So if Mamolja that you remember from Dungeons, you may hear referenced in <coughs> side content and uh, quests that kind of go over what happened to them and how or why they were even in Aldenard in general. But uh, I think that's all I can really say for now about spoilering things, so thanks for watching. I'll do a proper video later on going through all the spoiler content and how my sort of in-depth opinion of the, of the expansion. But uh, I'll see you in the next video.